This represents a typical residential distribution panel. This video follows the pole transformer video. On the left, we start at the secondary of the pole transformer. For this simulation, we will assume there is only one 240 volt load connected across the buses in the panel. I've shown it as a generic resistive load and not shown any circuit breakers or switches to keep the pictorial simple. Take note on this drawing that all the grounds are connected together at the pole. I've shown the neutral wire in white because it's often flagged with white tape as it enters the panel. A 240 volt load has no connection to neutral and does not need one. Current flow is from bus to bus, which is the same as saying from one end of the secondary to the other. You might wonder, then what is that third wire in my power cord? To be precise, it is ground wire and is in the cord for safety. In the event that the cord is cut or crushed, the current will flow to ground, hopefully, and not through the person who's done the cutting or the crushing, and that will cause the breaker to open. Later on, we'll talk about a four-wire power cord, which has a ground just like the three-wire cord, but also has a neutral. Now let's remove that 240 volt load and install a 120 volt load. All the circuit breakers and switches have not been shown for simplicity and the load is shown as a simple resistance. All 120 volt loads will connect to only one bus bar in the panel. While you're looking at this, note that the circuit is completed through the neutral wire from the panel to the top half of the pole transformer secondary. If another additional exactly equal 120 volt load were placed on the other bus, then it would be the same as one 240 volt load across the secondary and there would be no current flow in the neutral from the panel to the pole. Pause the video here if necessary to solidify this idea in your mind. A perfectly balanced distribution panel which is much more theoretical than practical, will have no current flow in the neutral from the panel to the pole, and therefore will waste no power. A balanced panel is difficult to achieve because we have no control over how many lights in a lighting circuit might be turned on at a particular time, or how many outlets in a string might be in use. Practically speaking, if we had two 120 volt circuits to add to a panel, we would add one on each bus bar.